Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is one of my favorite but longest videos that I record every year. And it is my 2021 crochet hair rankings video. That's right. This is the time of year when I come on here and rank every single crochet hair that I have tried in my life, which began with me starting this channel five years ago. I've never tried crochet hair before July 24th, 2016, so I'm bringing you every hair that I've tried since that point and ranking them from worst to best. Now, I did skip this video in 2020 because y'all know I was disillusioned with a lot of stuff last year. Last year, this time, I always typically put it up somewhere in the June, July, August time frame. And if you remember, not bringing up, you know, the bad past, but 2020 overall with the pandemic and the added civil unrest, I just was not in it. I wasn't in the mood. I was very much so discontent with how a lot of brands responded to what was going on in the world and just were very tone deaf to a lot that was going on. So I was like, I'm not bringing none of that to y'all, but I'm back this year because I want to help you guys out. I get comments still on my 2019 version and was like, you ain't did this video in two years. It's been two years since I filmed a rankings video, so why not bring it back and bring it back better than ever? But I do need to sell some house rules with this video. With these videos, I can never please anyone. Somebody's commenting right now, getting them fingers ready to say, I don't like this. You need to do this. You need to change this. This needs to be changed. I've done this video for three years and I get the same type of comments, so I'm just gonna put some little house rules out, put a little feeler out, let y'all know what goes on in this video. First things first, this is my opinion. This video is my opinion. I'm not paid by any brands. I don't work in conjunction with any of these brands. Everything I say in this video is my opinion and my opinion of the hair at said time that I tried said hair. So for example, I get comments sometimes in my videos like, you saying a lot of this stuff, but I feel like this ain't the hair that I have in right now, or the formula probably has changed since you've reviewed this hair. Again, I'm only in control of the hair, how it was when I tried it on said day. So if it felt this way in January 2017, that's all I can bring to you guys because that's how it was for me at said time. You are free to disagree or agree with anything I say, but again, it's just my evaluations of the hair. And again, my reviews are different. I don't come on here and just install hair. I wear hair. I'm in that hair. I'm in the weeds. I got it out the mud with these hair. So again, this is my opinion on the hair that I've tried over the last five years. Number two, I always get comments that these videos are very long. There's a little timestamp that was in the corner before y'all clicked this video that told y'all how long it was gonna be. Every year there's a timestamp. It lets you know how long the video is gonna be. It's gonna be long. I'm encompassing five years of your viewing hair in a little short span. I'm trying to make it as compact as possible. I'm trying to tighten it up as close as possible, but this is five years of hair. It cannot be five minutes long. I've tried 60 plus hair. The fact that this video is shorter than 60 minutes is impressive because that means I have to talk about each hair for less than 60 60 seconds. Literally, I cannot talk about it here for longer than a minute or this video would be 60 minutes long. I get comments sometimes from people on the opposite end that say I don't spend enough time talking about each hair. Again, this video is just a summary of the hair. I have full length reviews on every single hair that I'm telling you about today. Every single hair, I have full videos dedicated to said hair. So again, this is just a brief summary of each hair that I've tried. Ground rule number four, you might be like, well, you didn't mention some hair. You're gonna see as I talk about some things, some hair have fallen off this list. One, it might be because they're discontinued, so I'm not bringing them up anymore. But two, it could be that I don't mess with the brand anymore. I don't support the brand. I'm acting like it never happened. Even though there's a video on this channel, you know, with me reviewing the hair, I kept my reviews up. Any brand that I've, you know, had misgivings with, I still let the video up because it happened. It's history. It's part of my journey on this channel. However, I ain't talking about them on this list. Uh, there's reviews for them. So if you're like, well, she ain't mentioned that. I have a whole video why I don't mess with said brand, not even gonna give them the time of day. So again, there might be some hair that went on 2018, 2019 list, not gonna be on this list. And number five, the comment I always get, what about the hair you have in right now? It's not making the rankings list. That's because I have it in right now and I'm testing it. I, I don't know how I feel about it and what hair is it. It's always in my description box in every single video for the last probably three and a half years in the first line after it says, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, all that right under there, under hair worn, it's gonna say Rasta Free Lake Wave Hair. Lake Wave hair is the hair I have in right now. Only had it in a week. Not gonna make this list. Not gonna make this list just because I do thorough evaluation. So getting started with it, I know it's a lot of ground rules. 
I'm putting timestamps down below so you know you could skip that so starting video right now with the rankings and we're gonna talk about my least favorite hair uh, and that's gonna have to be the Ari curl unfortunately uh, by the Nia natural hair brand I love her Nia natural hair amazing DMV hairstylist takes nothing away from the fact that she does amazing hair and she is out here killing the game in the DMV area but with this Ari curl hair wasn't the jam I kept that hair in for what 48 hours about 48 hours I had to yank it all out and you guys know I'm I'm usually here for four weeks with the hair 48 hours all I could do the instant all was not good but not easy you know at the time was like maybe it's me it has to be me I know I've installed you know 60 plus hair at this point probably 65 hair at this point Nia commented on that video and actually said it was an issue with the manufacturer so it wasn't me you guys saw that video I was really hard on myself but Nia herself said you know what it was an issue with the manufacturer I have severed ties with them you know cut the ties with them on this hair so again was a bad hair mainly from the manufacturing side of it in general so not a hair I can suggest for you guys at this point now the next hair the outre Dominican blowout straight hair you guys should know I'm not a huge fan of a straight hair in general when it comes to crochet hair there's not gonna be a lot of straight hair that make this list and it's just this hair this is the only hair when it comes to crochet hair maybe a wave maybe a tight spiral curl maybe a looser curl but straight hair and me, we don't get along very well. It's something about those knots at the beginning. It's something about the maintenance that you have to put into this hair. I kept that hair in, I believe, for nine days. So a week and two days I kept that hair in, which is, again, not like me at all. Was not a fan of that hair. Will I try another straight hair on this channel? Probably, definitely. I feel like there has to be something out there on the line that's straight and that looks good. But me, I feel like because I was so into sew-ins, prior to 2016. Before I turned on this camera in 2016, sew-ins were my thing. A lot of straight sew-ins were my thing. So I think getting adjusted to a straight synthetic hair has always been a battle for me. No issue getting adjusted to a curly hair, a lot of issues getting adjusted to a straighter hair. And I might have to go to a professional to install it because I don't believe in my knots looking that realistic with a straight hair. That's important when you're installing a straight hair. I know myself, I don't got that talent. I don't have that talent. Next hair is Zuri Congo Curl. You already know. You already know. Not an ugly hair at all. Not an unattractive hair. Very beautiful hair. Not my cup of tea though. Very rough, very rigid. I knew I was over that hair when I went to sleep one night and the hair rubbed my earring out of my ear. Like I wear studs every single day. That's my thing. This is all my ears can tolerate because I have sensitive ears. When I woke up in the morning and my it, the roughness it, it had rubbed the earring out, I was like, okay, this is ain't for me. It felt like a Brillo pad. It felt like the green part of a sponge that you use in your kitchen. I was not having that and I was not gonna keep that in my hair for too long. I think. I kept that hair in for what three days maybe three or four days it wasn't long at all when I know I'm over a hair I know I'm over a hair and I'm gonna take it out immediately again the bottom of the barrel the hair that's on the lower end of this list yes it's only a couple of days with these hair but if we get higher you gonna see some seven week hair make this list you gonna see some hair I wore for quite a few weeks I couldn't do it with the Zuri Congo curl. Model Model Dominican Braid. Model Model was a brand that I had stayed away for for quite some time. I think it might have been a year and a half before I put a Model Model hair in because I had always heard it's not a good brand. It's a very unattractive brand. My best friend who was into crochet hair before me got me started on this thing. She was like, Model Model, I've heard bad things. Don't try it. So I'm like being new to the game. I'm not trying that hair. So it took me quite some time. And a Model Model Dominican Braid was my first. I believe Model Model hair and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was like, maybe there was some credence to it. It was way too soft, way too tangly. It just wasn't a texture that I really had been used to, accustomed to, and it made me say, okay, model, model, I gave you a chance. You blew it. You blew it, but you'll see some other model, model hair make this list. That hair just too extremely soft, too tangly, very much so a high maintenance hair, and as you should know about my channel, I like low maintenance low maintenance is what i like again that's why i say everything is my opinion coming from the opinion of a girl who likes low maintenance i can do a medium to high maintenance hair has to look good though if i'm gonna put work in it has to be a hair that is bomb diggity like it gotta be like wow sexy giving it and people not knowing behind the scenes it's taking me 30 minutes to get it together i'll put some maintenance to a hair if it looks good and that hair was high maintenance didn't look bad but there are better hair on this list trust me also ultra deep twist i had tried a couple of ultra hair before that i have really loved 
spoiler alert, I have really loved the Outre Bohemian Curl that's gonna make this list. I didn't hate the Outre Bahamas Curl, but it wasn't as good as the Bohemian Curl in my opinion. And then the Deep Twist. I was like, why? Why Outre? You didn't need to. You already have two curls that are very similar. The Deep Twist was very similar in looks to the Bahamas Curl and the Bohemian Curl that there was no purpose of it because it was a weaker version. Got more tangles. I feel like Outre must have been in the shop like, oh, the Bohemian Bahamas is selling off the shelves let's put another variety out no no you didn't have to you could have kept that you could have kept that deep twist hair the next hair is that Janet collection perm Peruvian hair that's not a texture that needs to be in crochet hair I get it people want something that mirrors sew-ins I 100% get it people have inversions to synthetic hair that's totally fine and you want something that's gonna mirror a little bit more human hair get that as well but the reason why a lot of crochet hair is synthetic and not human hair is because it's easier to knot this hair it's easier for the hair to stay actually in your head when you have a silkier texture like that hair was it's gonna slip you gonna have to knot that hair several times so you find yourself knotting that hair five or six times where with the normal hair with this did i knot it twice max maybe maybe once in a lot of places that hair six times and it's still gonna probably be a little scary it's gonna be a little bit on the edge you you're gonna be like okay the knots are not giving me realistic they're not giving me i have no worries i have a lot of worries with that hair so beautiful color i get the concept janet collection i give you props because i don't think i've ever tried a hair on this channel or i don't have another hair on this list that really is that same texture and that's the hard thing about this channel is that i'm trying to tell you a texture you have to feel it to understand it and I'm sorry I can't have you feel through the camera but that hair felt different and it's unlike anything I've ever tried on this channel before for probably good reason it might not need to exist so good good job you know with that perm Peruvian it's y'all just don't nah it's don't do it now this next hair pains me because it's so beautiful and my biggest my biggest influence on here on youtube taste pink love her she's the one who really really got me to try crochet hair like really really into it and she talked about cozy deep and she really liked it, it was one of her favorite styles i tried it wasn't one of my favorites not that it's bad like it's beautiful and in hindsight it probably was high maintenance but i should have put the work into it and i feel like that's where i messed up i didn't put the work into it that i should have so that's why it ranked lower on my list i think it's a gorgeous gorgeous sexy sexy hair but it was very high maintenance and at that time i think that was what three years ago probably almost two and a half i think it was like december of 2017 i wasn't ready me leah at that time was not ready for that hair so that's why it ranks lower it's because for me i didn't probably give it the tlc it needed uh, but for me it was very high maintenance so i, I was not loving that now the next two hair on this list, I'm not gonna lump them together, I'm gonna talk about them separately, but they're both from the same brand. It's that Trendy Tresses River Curls, and then the next hair after that will be that Trendy Tresses Goddess Curl. To kind of harp on the River Curls real quick, the texture just wasn't me. The texture just was not me, too, too soft. And some of y'all love that soft hair. I just can't get with it. Again, that's why I say this video is my opinion. I cannot get with them too soft hair because again, it frizzes so quickly. It frizzes so quickly, it tangles quickly. It mats probably as much as a normal hair would mat, but the tangles and the frizz, honey. I know crochet hair in general does it. It's just about how long does it take before that happens. That's what you're looking for. A lot of people say, you always complain about tangles and frizz. That's gonna happen, it's synthetic hair. I get that it's gonna happen. It's just what time frame. Is it gonna happen day two or is it gonna happen week three? Those are two different things. I'm okay if it happens week three. We've gone three weeks, hey, we did it. I'll give you all your props because that means you went through 21 days with me putting it in a scarf, rubbing against clothes, and you still performed well. But if you still Start messing up at day two I'm not here for it I'm not here for that super softness so beautiful texture and I saw trendy tresses post on their IG page I follow them on IG and they were like we're thinking about coming up with a different texture for the river curls or producing it in a different texture because you know they've heard feedback from people that they don't love the softness but there were a horde of comments under that post that were like don't change it for a couple of people don't change your texture you you're doing all right if you do anything create a different river curls that does have a different texture than the curve and I'm like that's a good 
good idea because there are people who like that trendy tresses river curls and go up for it as it currently stands but then there are people who like me will probably like it in a more rigid texture so i'm glad that trendy tresses is at least open to that because i would definitely try it again because it's black owned it's a black owned business i support black owned over here my channel since last year again last year when i took my turn and i you got disillusioned with a lot of brands i started focusing on brands that were black owned or that supported us in the black community and so black owned uk based brand really was excited for them but again the soft texture and it goes to again the goddess curls too goddess curls i had that same issue if you saw my install of the goddess curls i actually have an install video where i'm installing the goddess curls it was so soft so it made the install process oh it was my first ever headache with installing a crochet here i was glad that i decided to film that because i don't think i could have explained it well into words with the softness of it and how that I lost a lot of hair in that process. There was a pile of hair that just because the hair was so soft, it just didn't make it into my actual head. So Trendy Tresses, Goddess Girl, and River Curls, not my favorite. Now these next hair are gonna be all tied because I couldn't, when I was making this list, I couldn't determine who goes higher in this. And it has to be the Rasta Free Jamaican Curl the, and the Rasta Free Tropical Curl with that mix of the Island Crimp that I had in. All of them are the same texture family. Like Rasta Free has different texture families I've been noticing as I've tried more Rasta Free hair. This does not feel like those two hair at all. It doesn't feel like Jamaican curl and it doesn't feel like the tropical curl and the island crimp. That was again softer of a texture of a hair. Now love Jamaican curl for the color. Rasta Free Jamaican curl was a amazing color it blended with my actual hair at that time so effortlessly so that when my edges started growing out it looks Woo! I love that color but it doesn't take away from the fact that it was a very soft hair very much so a higher maintenance hair and the same thing goes with the feel of that tropical curl different a little bit of a different curl pattern or is it just seeming different in my mind because I had a different color I think it was a different curl pattern though and the island crimp was definitely a different curl pattern but again the softness of it just made for a higher maintenance hair all three beautiful hair combinations and again if you are somebody who's willing to put in that work a little bit with the hair I think you're gonna have a fine time with it it's just for me better hair on the list now the next hair the Outre Bahamas curl we did better than the deep twist in my opinion i think it's a beautiful hair as well but i think the bohemian is just better i again i'll get to the bohemian on this list a little bit later but it, it's not terrible better hair though in that outre bohemian curl that's going to make the list a little bit later and then that be famous beach curl was a middle of a world hair i think right now we are in the middle of the road type hair we're not in the exceptional hairs yet but we're in the middle of the road type hair again it ranks where it ranks just because it's not bad but it wasn't something to write home about like i'm not sitting over here like turning on the camera like y'all run out and go get this hair honey like y'all are asleep when i come on this camera and i'm excited you gotta know that it's gotta be good because I'm, I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting no pockets. If y'all run out and go buy any here on this list, I get no money. But for me to be excited and want to put y'all on game, because that's all I'm trying to do. This channel is to help y'all. I want us all to look good as black women. And I might have some Caucasian and Hispanic and Asian people watching me. I want us all as women, as a collective, to look good. And again, I think I got a couple more hairs like that until we get to the upper echelon. And the same thing goes for that roster free pawn curl hair okay hair okay hair had that water glide tech from rasta free that they like to put on some of the hair the hair that i have in right now has that h2o water glide tech symbol just like that hair did didn't feel like it performed any better in the water than a normal hair would so again nothing to run out and go purchase that pond curl but not not a bad hair at all the next hair on this list which i'm debating on whether i should have moved it down i'm looking at my list right now and i'm feeling like it's a little too high because feels like it doesn't belong right at this point but it's that darling flexi rod curl i'm trying to think of why i put it above i might would put pond curl over that i might would put like the roster free jamaican curl over that there's a, quite a few hair i feel like it were lower that i would put above this so this hair might be out of order in this list but the darling flexi rod curl was that walmart hair that i tried recently maybe that's why i put it on this list because it's unique in the sense that you don't have to be uh, waiting on your beauty supply store to open at 8 a.m or if it's closed on Sunday Sundays, you gotta worry about how I'm gonna get my hair you can go to Walmart so the convenience 
of this hair does make it very special in a sense but uh, the hair itself was very rigid a very very rough texture hair going back to that Zuri Congo curl think about that that sponge again go back to that green part yep very rough texture of the hair and I'm gonna go ahead and lump I think the reason why I put it here is because I lumped all the flexi rock curls that I put in in the same kind of category right here in this bucket the ringlet wand by free trust I would put that higher than the darling hair I would say if you're looking for a wand curl get that free trust ringlet wand it's better it's a little bit softer you're not getting brillo pad hardness as you would with that darling flexi rod hair that hair as well as the sensational jamaican bounce are right there neck and neck for me the ringlet wand and the sensational jamaican bounce i am not a wand curl person other than one wand curl that's gonna make this list at the top just because of the length i know i know it's a weird reason not to love it uh but most wand curls are it's right here it's right here and I know one day probably when I'm you know older I will appreciate a shorter hairstyle but right now as I'm still in my loving a long hair don't care type of a phase y'all know I love me some length now the next hair is that well, Harlem 125 chemo ripple deep hair has to say and thinking about that ripple deep hair it's the only hair other than the deep twist uh, I've tried on this channel twice the first time wasn't my favorite just because it was giving me a lot of grievances and a lot of people commented in that video try it again don't put no product in it don't put no product in it where you went wrong that first time was putting that product in it girl don't let no products touch that hair so i did it again didn't let products touch it and it performed a lot better now the next hair the free trust wrap and lock hipster lock hair the install process was difficult for me it's not a hair that in the back I could effectively install. If you're not familiar with that video, it, the hipster lock had a little piece of hair at the top. So it was a lock style with a little piece of hair that you could wrap around to conceal if you wanted to do the individual method with your crochet locks. Have a whole install video on that. And I like the idea, like the concept. Overall, like the twist itself. Who doesn't like a lock? I think I just have issues with the install of that hair in the back. But now that it started to really hit shelves, like last year when I reviewed it, it was online. Now I'm in my crochet hair group on Facebook. Crochet hair braiding is the name of it. I'm in that group and people are like seeing it in stores and a lot of people are using it just for the front and they are loving it. And I think if I just had to focus on like nine twists in the front, it would have been great. But me installing it on myself, not being able to see the back, it was very, very difficult with that hair. So just keep that in mind with these hipster locks now the next hair that i'm putting on this list is uh the lulu trust deep wave hair now i have a friend from high school who follows me on instagram and on here shout out to you kendra uh, but she actually posted a picture of her on her stories and tagged me in it and was like wearing a hair and i was like oh cute i'm gonna share it and then i got a lot of dms from people once i shared it like what hair does she have in i get that a lot of times when i share somebody with crochet hair because i feel like they think i can identify it or they think i can reach out to the person which i did in this case reached out to kendra she said lulu trust deep wave hair i let everybody know but i was like how did i feel about this hair now making this video and making this list today i just pull from my 2019 list and just add in new hair that i've tried where they fit and my thoughts on this hair were I think it was a middle of the road hair again very medium very right there with not the best but not the worst hair in the sense that I didn't like the color I must have had it in a 27 color because in my notes I say the 27 is a lot it's given a lot girl I'm not really knowing how I feel about this so didn't fall in love with the coloring but really did think the hair was very much so a middle of the road not gonna give you a lot of fuss but it was not my beach friendly option I did put in my notes not an option that I would wear to the beach unfortunately or active situation nonetheless but it is a very attractive hair and the thing about my videos where I say activewear friendly or water friendly some of us ain't near no water and some of us ain't going and working out all the time so those middle of the road hair that aren't the really best for the water situations and the active situations might be a great suggestion for your normal day-to-day -day life so that is the lulu tress deep wave hair next is the hair probably the most popular crochet hair video on this channel and it's the check and go human hair it's from the naked line check and go which is the parent company of free trust their crochet hair and the human Human hair form was under the naked moniker 
it's where it is. It's my number, what is this, number 20 on my list. I know you're probably like, it's human hair. It should rank above everything else. People who are people who just feel like human always gets the bump up over synthetic hair are going to feel like it's a little too low on the list. For me, there was nothing about it that made me want to put it above some of the synthetic hair on this list that I already have. I'm not a human hair snob, although before, you know, 2016 and that's all I did try I wasn't somebody who was adverse to a synthetic hair and I feel like the issue with that human hair could it curl yes could you dye it no not really even though it claimed that you could the install of it was just a nightmare those loops at the top terrible it's not conducive for a normal looking hairstyle and I know there are ways that you could hide it or some people actually put synthetic hair in the parting space but then use that hair all throughout it defeats the purpose for me just use synthetic throughout i don't see the point it's human hair crochet and i know there are human hair options out there there are stylists who have their own brand of in-house human hair crochet go with that before you go with this because it's going to be it's what 60 dollars a pack very expensive it's not affordable you're going to need more than one pack so 60 dollars a pack you could get 10 packs of another hair, 12 packs of another hair for that price that you're paying for one pack of hair. Just think about it. Not that cost effective. And I'm about cost effectiveness over here. Now these next two hair are going to be tied. It's going to have to be that model model beach twist hair as well as that model model valley wave hair. And they're tied because I think they're the exact same hair. I, you know, I see these brands. I peep game. Those are the exact same hair, honey. You're not tricking me. You're not fooling me. I get what y'all did in the factory. I don't know if y'all thought y'all added a little extra crimp, a little extra curl, a little extra bump. Y'all didn't. Y'all created the same hair twice, and it's okay. I get you. Gotta get your coin how you get your coin. Gotta put some lipstick on a pig. I get what you have to do, but I ain't falling for it. Them two are the exact same hair. That's why they are tied at the exact same spot. Next hair, Free Trust Go-Go Curl. I've recently gotten comments on that video at the top when I did my disclaimers when I was talking about, you know, I can't help it if a chair has changed textures. I've gotten a lot of comments that they feel like Free Trust Go-Go Curl is not the hair it used to be. They're like, I've tried this hair for two years and I've gotten it recently and it's not the hair it used to be. Well, I can tell y'all, uh, Leah, who tried that hair in 2016, liked that hair enough. If it's not the same in t the year of 2021, I don't know what to say. I don't want to lead y'all down the wrong path and say, oh, that hair is great, but I'm going off of 2016 information and me you know liking it back then liking it well enough back then if the hair is the same way it was in 2016 i liked that hair now if that hair has changed a wee bit i don't know what to say i don't know what to say another hair that's very similar to it that i'll put right now if you're looking for an alternative if they've changed the go-go curl i think that rasta free twist out curl was a very beautiful hair and i like the ombre options that that hair comes in i do think probably a little bit more maintenance needs to be done than when I tried the Free Trust Go Go Curl, but nonetheless, really like that twist out curl. And I think it's gonna give you a little bit more, I don't wanna say volume, but it's a little bit more heavy on the curls, I would say, mainly because too, I couldn't split that hair. The top of that hair was more soft, the bottom was rigid, so it makes it so that you can't split it like you normally would, or like I normally do. When I get to the front of my hair, I split the hair in half, so I use half of section. Oh snap, we starting to get into the loves, man. We starting to get, we getting out of the middle of the roll hair, we starting to get into the things I love. So number 12 on this list, Free Trust Water Wave. Need I say more water friendly, active wear friendly, life friendly, try that hair at the early stage this might have been the third hair that i tried on this channel very similar probably to that free trust bohemian braid which probably due to recency syndrome meaning that i tried that first hair in 2016 and tried the bohemian braid in 2019 so probably because it's more recent in my mind it ranks a little bit higher uh, a lot of people ask me well, what's the difference I had to hold them curls up side by side there might be only a slight 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 difference but free trust water wave though don't sleep on that hair. Wear it shorter than I did. I wore it pretty long in the early days. Wear it shorter than I did and you're going to get a beautiful style. As well as if you try the Curl Refinery Handmade Island Twist Hair. What can I say? What can I say other than yes. Giving it. Giving it to the people. That hair is phenomenal. Uh, it's a beautiful color. The color I had was a beautiful color. Who doesn't like a good twist style? But one above that for me has to go to that Femme Freak Mini Frosty Twist hair. The reason I like that a little bit more than the Curl Refinery because that twist is a little bit smaller. That twist is actually uh, a wee bit smaller. A lot of people ask me what is the difference between the two. The Frosty was just a, a smidgen smaller which I liked because it mirrored 
like the twist hair does look like a twist on camera it looks like a twist hair both look like a twist on camera but i don't know from a distance that fro c didn't look so twisty that sounds so crazy in my mind it makes sense but the handmade curl refining twist looked a little bit bigger and that fro c was just a little bit smaller and i preferred that smaller look sometimes i would prefer a bigger look but i think for the coloring that that hair gave me everything about it was just giving me a vibe that i really did like next hair free tress deep twist the hair that started this channel there would be no me talking to you guys right now without this hair that hair tried it twice as well i tried it twice mainly because i didn't know i was going to be a crochet hair review channel i thought i was just a girl who just tried free trust deep twist and was just gonna try free trust deep twist and then try it again and probably try it again and probably never switch it up and who would have thought that a year later it'd been like 65 plus hair that i've tried and i haven't looked back but that free trust deep twist gonna give you an amazing look very much so in my opinion active friendly water friendly next here the janet collection havana mambo full lock full lock how can it be bad how can it go downhill it didn't go downhill it lasted and it looked great from day one to the last day which is what i like in my crochet styles locks are gonna do you well you might be like you don't have a lot of locks and braided styles on this list that's just because i feel like that's cheating i feel like they're gonna do good pretty much regardless so i like the variety of is this hair gonna work is this gonna mess up who knows but if i put a lock in it's probably gonna work well so in the future if i just try more locks more twists and all that the first 20 would just be me locks braided styles and all that because they're not gonna give you any fuss really so that's uh why one i don't try a lot of locks braided styles twists but two why this hair ranks so high because it didn't mess up how could it next hair free tress beach curl this hair gets a little bit of its juice because y'all y'all go hard for this hair y'all rocks with this hair and i feel like i have to rank it high because it is a audience favorite y'all i don't know how many dms i get a week a week y'all flooding them instagram dms with i have this free trash beach curl and i love seeing it. i don't say it in a negative way like y'all do this and i'm tired of it no i love seeing it because it just makes me feel like man i tried this hair 2018 i feel like i didn't know what i was sitting on i thought it was good i didn't know it was that good y'all out here go ham for this hair y'all out here are trying this hair in record numbers it's active friendly water friendly i get comments all the time like this is the only hair i try some people watch my channel and try one hair and that becomes their signature hair like that becomes the hair they try they're not like me where i review different hair and i'm a different person every month they don't walk into work like i do and it's like is it did your hair grow or shrink what's going on with your hair i get those questions constantly y'all don't want that variability in your life and i get it i take the bullet of all the questions stares from colleagues so that y'all can have the best hair out there and y'all have said free trust beach curl is my hair i'm done that's it that's all i try girl and i love that next hair for me has to be that lulu tress island twist hair really like that hair i think it gets extra clout because it really got me through hurricane season that year that year we had florence we had matthew it was probably the worst we didn't get really hit with hurricanes like that so you know i think structurally at least where i was everything stayed up no crashes no trees came down on you know anybody in my neighborhood but we had the rain and the winds for quite some time i like got to work from home for a few days just because it was that bad it rained so often and so much that that hair really took a lot of beating from water and it was my umbrella and it really worked well as an umbrella that's why when i see water glide on some packs of hair i'm like lulu Trust was water glide and it wasn't even claiming it so how y'all gonna claim y'all water glide when y'all not doing what the lulu Trust island twist did for me and i have to go with that free trust bohemian braid in the same vein took some water it took a lot of water. If you watch that year, that was my birthday hair. Child, how many birthdays have I had? How many birthday hair have I had on this channel? Some hair might not have been my birthday hair, but I know this one was because I have a vlog on it. I went to Disney World, Universal Studios, and Florida, and I rolled a water slide five, six times. So many times that the workers there were like, just come on just just don't go through the ramps that you do because during the november month it's not that busy but yet it's still warm so i was in florida and i was able to ride that ride six times within like a 10 minute span it was a very fun ride i cannot remember what it was but me and my best friend sasha rode it several times hair got soaking wet did well did so well i'll trade bohemian curl hair the superior 
curl from Altrey, in my opinion. Forget Bahamas, forget Deep Twist. This is the Superior curl. It, it was very good, very much so a lower maintenance style, very cute style. Really got me into believing that crochet hair could be worn longer because at that time, I think that was the first hair that I had tried for six weeks and I was like, I'm very impressed. I was very impressed to the point where I was like, okay, maybe I can test out other hairs. Some hairs have failed, but that Bohemian braid was my first. It could be six weeks and still look good. Okay. I believe in this. Same thing goes for Free Trash Pastel Curl. I think it was another six weeks. And that hair did took a little bit of revitalization. And yeah, it took a little bit of work, but I think the work was worth it. I think the work was worth it. The hair turned out phenomenally, lasted me six weeks, was a pretty color. Uh, for me, it was, in my opinion, it was a little bit better than that Go Go Curl. Can't tell you why can't tell you why because I don't I don't quite understand it myself I liked it more than the go-go but very similar families presto curl deserves its place on this list now we're in top three category we're in the top three and number three we're definitely gonna have to go that that rasta free dream romance curl hair that hair was great that hair was everything. That hair was low maintenance. No, sorry, no maintenance. That hair was beautiful. Uh, that hair travel, active friendly, everything friendly. Don't see how you could hate that hair. You guys have been telling me for years to try it, but Rasta Free was, just, that hair specifically was just harder to come by it felt like it felt like I never saw that much about that hair and it was older for them uh number two hair I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because y'all have told me it's discontinued and I know I said at the top of this video I'm not putting discontinued hair on this list but just in case y'all can find it like just in case it is near you I'm sorry if it's discontinued that model model fresh wine curl I think that hair was beautiful so realistic the one wine curl that I can say I can go up for. I can really go up for. I get so many questions. Is there a dupe? Leah, please tell me you found a dupe. I have yet to find a dupe for that hair. Just because I feel like that hair is just, the, the thing that makes it special is it's a wand curl, but it's longer. I don't know what it is about companies just putting a wand curl out and stopping it at eight inches. They're like, whoa, 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 you're going a little too far. Don't go no longer than that. The streets don't want it. The streets do want it. I'm here to tell y'all companies, the streets do want it. Brands, listen, if you're not, I know you're not watching, but this is just constructive criticism. I will want it. I want it. My audience wants it too. There are people who are like, just find a dupe and we'll, we'll pay for it. Or model, model, come out with the fresh wine curl again. What, what's stopping y'all? Why did y'all stop that? Why y'all continuing to make other subpar products when y'all had a y'all had a gem on y'all's hands? So yeah, like I said I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time on it, but it turned into a mini rant. But a mini rant that's gonna lead me to my number one hair that I do know they still make, and it's that Harlem 125 Kima Soft Red Hair. That's not gonna be everybody's favorite, and I'm gonna preface this again, like I said at the top of the video, this is my opinion. Some people gonna see that hair and think, oh no, it's not cute. It's nobody's cuteness. That's giving me Kurt Shirley Temple. It's giving me a look I'm not loving. I'm loving it. I got featured in Cosmopolitan online recently uh, with that hair, surprisingly. Um, and I was like, Cosmopolitan didn't even know. They didn't even know I love that hair. It was like, they had 50 different crochet styles. They asked me to use my picture like, I don't know, months ago. And then I finally saw the article and I, I kept scrolling. And I was at the very bottom, but I was at the bo very bottom because it was like fiery red. If you want a fiery red crochet style, think about trying this. Y'all didn't know it, but that's my number one hair. That y'all chose it ironically and ironically, I love that hair. In that review video, if you saw it, I'm going up for that hair for good reason. Cause it deserves its flowers. Give that hair its flowers, no maintenance lasted me through career fair season if you don't know i'm a campus recruiter that's my job so there's career fairs that i have to go to career fairs that are typically in the same month typically sometimes on the same day and i'm like how i can't be in two places at once so thankfully i have an amazing team who goes to places for me but i'm bogged down i was bogged down going every which away every single place wearing the same shirt and wearing the same hair and that hair still looking good still looking good I love a hair that can stay consistently good throughout the wear of it. No volatility, no changes, just chef's kiss, perfect. So this is where I'm going to end the video with the perfect hair. Why not end the video with the perfect hair, the chef's kiss hair, the hair again that got me featured in Cosmopolitan. Cosmo knew. They didn't know, but they knew. I look good in it and I felt good in that hair. 
Now this was a long video, so if you made it to the end, thank you so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, comment down below what you liked. I'm always going to get comments on what people didn't like. It's a very vocal video that I put out every year. It gets a lot of views, but it gets a lot of feedback too. And I'm open to sad feedback. Just makes my laundry list of do's and don'ts at the beginning of my video ever more longer. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any content I make and you will not miss the review for this actual hair. You no, know, people been looking at it the whole video and we're like, what's her thoughts what's her thoughts you'll see my thoughts if you watch the review video when it comes out and make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss it because youtube plays my face sometimes it plays me it doesn't really hurt you guys but i think i looked at my analytics Sixteen thousand of you guys have your notification bell on now sixteen thousand of y'all don't watch immediately i need y'all to watch almost immediately y'all got the bell on why y'all get notified if y'all not watching immediately so thank you guys for your support and make sure you're following me on instagram at leah levon 89 so you don't miss my shenanigans and you can keep up with them in real time i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye